Hey guys, it's OKB, and we're here to talk about event freebies. What do you mean by event freebies? I mean by uh, the stuff you get for free in events, like mission mobilizations. If you do missions, you get a whole bunch of points and boxes and all that kind of stuff, right? Um, and it's not always exact though, right? If I spend a whole bunch on, I don't know, uh, Summer Kakashi, and I buy maybe six fragments or something, I'm gonna have some points left over. And those points, is it, you know, you might have, I don't know, 20 points left over. And you're gonna be like, okay, I have 20 points left over, should I spend a little bit more so that I can get a reward in the shop? Or is it not worth it at all? And the, re uh, the reasoning, the very simple answer to this is whether it's better to get that extra thing that you're going for in the shop um, or save it for Fukuroma's deals. And the calculation you want to do is rebates. Rebates. Um, so, I mean, here's a Fukuroma's deals rebate sort of thing from last, last time? Actually, this week. It's still this week. And you guys can see that there's a 208% rebate value. Uh, if you go for the 45,000, you guys can see that if you go for the 35,000, I believe, the rebate value is 161, and then it goes down as you spend less. And so you always want to kind of do the top one. Um, and that's kind of why I was not suggesting you guys to do 25,000, because the rebate value was like 117%-ish. That wasn't very good. But at the top, you get 208%. And to, today is actually a, uh, this week is actually kind of special. If you do Konoha's Great Tree, um, here, level 7 tree, the rebate value actually goes beyond 200%. Uh, the, simply the value is really high, but you have to spend a lot to get a level 7. But if you do spend past 45,000, it's going to be more than 200%. It's kind of lucky that you have Konoha's Great Tree and Fuku deals in the same, uh, yeah, in the same week, basically. This is probably this is probably the best setup that you can do. Uh, save a hundred thousand coupons. I know it sounds hard to do that, but if you're a spender, it's easier to get coupons. Uh, Fuku deals, you get that forty-five thousand. Then you go on Kono's Great Tree and head all the way up to level seven, and you go beyond that, and you get a huge rebate plus that Fukuroma's deals rebate. This is like the best setup. However, normally we don't have a Fuku deals, right? And so you have leftover points from random shops um, that give you points like mission mobilization, great plates, uh, and you still need to draw some, I'm not wonder 40. Uh, and then there's also events like goldfish fishing um, that, you know, you, you don't, you can't really, unless you recharge, I think you, this is like recharging. Um, I think you spend stamina for this and you got to figure out, well, what's worth more or less. It's a little bit different, but yeah, there's something like that. Uh, Konoha's outlets, which is usually don't spend. I think that's it for this week. But anyways, um, so let's say you have, I might, might as well make this a real example. Uh, I have done all my missions today and today is the last day for, uh, of, the event week. Okay, you get a whole bunch of items. That's kind of what you get from the mission mobilizations. It's not the best. Um, I don't see very many terribly great items. They're all tier two or three. And now I have 1,050 points. Now, what do I want to spend on here? Uh, Charm materials pack, uh, refines, summer Kakashi, great ninja or Madara. Do I have them on this account? Let's see. No, I'm not even close. How about Sasuke? That's one of the ninjas, right? Sasuke is a little closer. How about Kakashi? Do I have Kakashi? Oh, I do have Kakashi. All right, so Rinnegan Gun Sasuke would be uh, the ninja I might want to go for. Or I can go for power because it's still, you know, you got to wait a little bit for Rinnegan Gun Sasuke uh, to get him four stars and stuff. You can also get the little outfit here. Um, I think I'm gonna go for power. I do want Sasuke, but at this point I think my account is too weak, so I'm gonna go for power. 
All right, so power, there's three different options. Um, out, it's hard to say about the outfit. I think if you spend for the outfit, that would make sense, but getting parts of the outfit doesn't make any sense. I used to do that, um, but in the long run, it's probably not good. So you should want to probably go for charms and refines. Uh, charm material packs or advanced refines. See, if this was epic refines, I would definitely go for the epic refines, but advanced refines aren't that difficult to get naturally or just to buy from a sunscroll shop. I mean, I'm pretty close, getting pretty close. I'm going for at least 2,000 and something epic refine rates before I actually do the rebate. So I need a lot more epic refines and it's gonna be a while. So, I mean, I'm gonna get some advanced refines from Sage, random things. I might as well just do charms. Um, so let's do charms and let's do a little calculations here. Let's go to display, right? All right, 1,050 here divided by 62 is 16.9. This, basi this basically means I can buy 16 charms and then I'm going to have quite a lot left over. So let's do that. I'm going to make this an example. Um, so if I open the charms, I have no idea how many. Oh wait, no I do, but I kind of forgot. And I have 58 points. Okay, so first of all, what is the rebate value of charms? Or I mean, what is the rebate value here? You see, I have 58 three points left over, right? And so I do want to make sure that I, if I do spend, cause I do need to spend to get uh, a charm material pack, I need to make sure that it's worth it. Now this obviously is worth it, but let's do the calculations anyways, you know? Okay, so what was, I have a little formula for this in my little guide here, art of event freebies. First, you want to find out the value percent that you're getting back. Um, you want to de determine whether the item is worth getting for, and you got to figure out your play style, which basically means do you want to go for power, uh, power, but probably more ninjas or just ninjas. Usually, if you go competitive, usually you just want to go power. Um, and yeah, you know, it depends on you. Because uh, uh, to be honest, if you go all competitive, it's not so fun because you don't get to use a lot of ninjas, different ninjas that you can try to get. Okay, so first of all, find out the rebate value that you're getting back, which is what I'm about to do. The, the formula for this is basically the rebate value is the amount you saved over the amount you spend. Ooh, okay, so I have 58 points. Let me clear this. And how the amount... The rebate value I get from freebies, the, these are the free points, the rebate I get is the amount that I save over the amount I spent, which is, gotta remember this, the amount I save, um, so I saved, let's see, if I, I have to buy 10 points, right, to, for this, so this is basically like 52 points, because um, having this 58 it doesn't really matter because you have to buy everything in tens so this is basically kind of like 52 points so 52 points i'm getting 52 no wait i'm getting 52 points and i'm spending 10 points 52 divided by 10 and you guys can see that it matches the formula the amount you saved which is you know the freebie 52 points that's the amount i saved um divided by the amount you spent well, the amount I spent is going to be 10 points because I, when I buy this box, um, I can only buy it 10 points with, uh, yeah, I can only buy 10 points. And so that's the amount I spent. So I spend for 10 points. And the answer is 5.2. That's actually a 520% rebate. Is that worth it? Yeah, absolutely. Of course. Okay, but let's, let's say I have 42 points. Is it still worth it then? Okay, 42 points um, divided by 62. Oh, wait, hold on. That's the wrong formula. All right, so the amount I get, the the uh, amount of freebies I have, pre we're pretending that it's 42, right? So it's gonna be the amount I get divided by how much I'm spending. Oops, 42 divided, gosh, funny, clear. 42 
Okay, yeah, 42. Now, how much am I spending to get the Charm Materials Pack? Well, it's 20 points, right? Because, you know, it costs 62 points, and I have 42 points is free. So I have to spend for 20 points. And all of a sudden, your rebate goes down to 210%. Okay, so at what, what percentage um, is it good to spend for this item? Well, the, uh, the way I calculate um, is by using Fukuroma Steel. So that's kind of why this is here. Uh, this is one of the Fuku calculations from back then, like two Fukus ago. No, actually, this is this Fuku. Yeah, this is this Fuku. Um, it was just two weeks. So the rebate value you can get at 45,000 coupons is something like 200%, which is really nice. It, some, it's something between 150 and 200 percent, and so I'm going to guess that if you're if you're getting a value of 175 percent in rebates, then it is worth getting uh, whatever item you're buying, right? And the reason I'm comparing um, Fuku deals to this is because normally when there's no Fuku deals, um, you could save, you could just not spend and save that on, uh, to spend on Fuku deals. So think about it, if there was no Fuku deals, pretend there's no Fuku deals this week. That means I'm spending and there's no rebate from the Fuku deals, which means I'm lo I might be losing some coupons. But if I'm spending um, on this event and it's better than Fuku deals in terms of rebates, then it's worth it. Uh, and so here's the thing. You want to make sure that that formula here, it goes at least 1.75. We'll, we'll say something around there because that's kind of the average of where the Fuku deals is at right now. Maybe 1.8, right? So 42 divided by 20. Uh, okay, this is this is if we had 42 points. What if we had 32 points? 32 points. So I'm getting 32 for free, and based on this equation, the amount you saved divided by the amount you spend. Um, divided by 20, wait, not 20, so, okay, let me clear this again, I'm getting 32 points, but how much am I spending now to get this item, 30 points, oops, yeah, divided by, I'm bad with calculators, I usually do it in my head, <laughs> okay, 32 points, so I have, uh, we're pretending that I, ha I only have 32 points, and then this thing can cost 62 points. So the amount that I saved divided by the amount, I, the, the amount that I spend, which is going to be 30 points, because if I have 32 points and it costs 62 points, I need 30 points. So the amount I save divided by the amount I get, which is 30, uh, the, amount I, the amount I save divided by the amount I spent. <sighs> so hard to keep track. And the value of that is 1.06. So at that point, you don't do it because the value, uh, the rebate value you get is 106%. Now, okay, there's an exception to this rule. If you're, if you're um, on a Fuku deals and this is going to be part of your spending, then you can just spend however you want because Fuku deals is here. But if there's no Fuku deals, then you want to compare it to um, what would happen if you had Fuku deals. And that's exactly what I just showed you, right? It's a simple formula. Amount you save divided by the amount you spent, unless it's Fuku deals. Then s skip this. That's basically the rule. Okay, um, and then you also want to figure out uh, whether this item here is worth it. So Charm Material Pack is good, all right? But sometimes you might get Magatamas or something. In that case, Actually, we'll have a good example here. Even if you had a, uh, let's say, let's say you save 600 coupons for, and you spend 200 coupons, and but then uh, that's 300% uh, rebate, right? But then you're getting mood scrolls, and you're like, well, mood scrolls can only max is 65%. All your ninjas or all the ninjas that you really use are somewhere there you don't really want to spend for mood scrolls. It, I would rather take a 200% rebate on trading potions than a 300% rebate on mood scrolls, right? It's just item value. Um, 
Magatamas as well because they have a pretty it's you basically get a lot of them in ninja exams and <clears throat> the amount of power they give you when you get up there is not a lot so I kind of wait on the Magatamas for sure okay I'm gonna skip all that uh, these are examples I made in previous uh, videos I also this is this is the more recent week but um, I recorded some stuff a couple weeks ago, which will be more examples if you're still confused. Uh, but yeah, this is mo this is just mission mobilization. So let me finish this up. One box, uh, and we're gonna do mission mobilization. Nice. Okay, so we're gonna buy that charm pack. I know I'm making it complicated, but it really is quite, um, you really have to think about it if you want to do the very best possible. So I'm spinning these keys, right? And you guys can see that there's a 150 uh, point reward thing down here. Um, and I'm trying to spend to 140 because that's how much keys they give you. Uh, all right, so 140. Okay, so you need 150. Uh, you need 150 to oh, to get that ninja assist cultivation packs, which is basically 30, uh, 30, 30 training potions. Okay, so what is the rebate here? The rebate is this ninja assist cultivation pack. But what are you getting here? Ten great plate keys. So you need to spend for twenty uh, ten great plate keys to get. The rebate for a ninja assist cultivation pack so what's the value of a ninja assist cultivation pack and i think in terms of colored banner or uh what they were giving it to us before it was about 270 so i'm gonna make some examples here on the very bottom uh 270 i believe that's the uh, coupons that you're getting back the value of items that you're getting back and it's a good set of items all right 270 Okay, but what are you spending on? This is actually a little more complicated because you're spending on great keys. Okay, great keys are not like concrete items. They're a chance of any of these nine items. And so you're gonna, this gets complicated because you're like, you're not, it's not a so simple because you're not just getting an item. You're not getting 50% off training potions. You're not getting 50% off, I don't know, I don't know, summoning packets. You're not getting 50% 50, 50 off Magatamas. You're getting 50% off uh, 10 chances for some of these items that's complicated um, and you're, it's hard to tell how much you're gonna get from just 10 keys is it worth it well okay here's the thing you have to evaluate every single thing on the wheel right uh, cave keys it's okay you have four you know it's good for ultimate treasure essences so I'm okay with that uh, but cave keys um, I won't say it's the best. Advanced experimentals, I hate. You guys know this if you've been watching me. I hate how they give you way more. Well, they don't give you way more. We tend to use a lot more advanced protection vials than we do normal exp advanced experimental vials. And since it's on the side, it's a pretty common reward. I don't like that at all. Then there's the three training potions, which is kind of nice. And Ipiki, which is nice, but I'm not really going to get him. So he's a little bit useless to me right now. Okay, so we have one useless item for me, one sort of almost useless, uh, one pretty good, and one just okay. And then there's the sides where you have a chance, but it's kind of rare to get it. Uh, Tobirama, good for the barrier for Eno Minato. Uh, Protection Vials is really nice, always. Epic Refines, very nice, Ch times three. And then Killer Bee is also nice because uh, we might get him four stars because they gave, gave out a lot of free fragments of him. So. It was nice of them to do that in a fireworks festival. Okay, all of this added up. What is the average value? You can't just add up all the values and, you know, because there's different chances on this wheel. And you just got to give it a guess. I don't want to spend too much time on great plates, honestly, but uh, is it worth getting? Is Are these items worth getting? And I would say it's just okay. I think it's actually below average for me. Uh, simply because of Ibiki and this advanced experimental vial. Um, and so I'm going to put this value at, 
I'm going to ignore the uh, corners because there's a high chance you won't get any of those. Um, but training potions, it's worth like nine each. So it's like 27 coupons. It, experimentals, I'm going to put at zero value. Uh, Ibiki as well, I'm going to put it at zero because I don't want them. And then there's cave keys, which is technically nine coupons as well. But I'm going to put them at five coupons because they don't give that much. I mean, aside from the ultimate treasure essence, you know, the... They don't give that much stats anymore when you're at a high level. So I'm going to put that as 20, 20 coupons value and 27 coupons value, which averages out at 23 coupons. This is my way of thinking. Okay. Yours might be different. A lot of people might disagree, but I'm going to average each draw at 23 coupons. Uh, well, actually, the average is actually even lower because there's two items here with zero value for me. And so, huh. It would be like seven, 13, something like 13 coupons uh, per draw. Is it worth it? You're spending 10, you're getting about 13, so it's it's okay. But I mean, what if you save those coupons and you spend for Kono's Great Tree, right? Um, if you get up to level six, it'd be really nice. Uh, it doesn't look as good, but the number of coins you're getting is pretty good, and the, uh, you have a pretty good chance of other ninjas compared to Great Plates, I think. Um, you also have these point rewards in here, uh, that's to mention ultimate treasure essence and the, uh, command flag. I mean, there could be a better event, so you got to think about the event as well. Okay, so should I do this? Answer would be, well, let's see. We're getting, we're spending 10 keys, which is 100 coupons, because each great key is, uh, 10 coupons. So let's do a little calculator math. Am I still on display? Yes, I am. Okay. Okay, so let's calculate the rebate value. All right, we're spending 100 coupons because it's 10 keys. Um, and we're getting 270 coupons back with the Ninja Assist. And it's a tier one item, so I like that. 270, which is the amount I'm getting, uh, the coupon amount I'm getting, divided by the amount I'm spending, which is 100. Keep in mind that in, uh, in this example, I'm using coupons, right? But in another example here, the mission mobilization, I'm using points. Those are two different things. Don't get them confused. If you're going to calculate with points, calculate it with points, not coupons, not the cost, um, not the cost of buying the boxes with coupons. If you're going to calculate with points, do it points. But for great plates, um, there is no point system. I mean, you could technically say 10 keys, right? Uh, spend 10 keys but you get a ninja assist cultivation pack but then you have to calculate how much this is worth so all i would do was do it by coupons coupons is a good method um okay two so 270 we do use that formula the amount you get divided by the amount you spend 270 divided by 100 is 2.7 and 2.7 is basically 270 percent Remember that 1 is 100%, 2 is 200%, 2.7 is 270%. 270% value, it's better than Fuku deals, right? Remember this? Fuku deals, there's a 200% rebate value. And so if you're spending this, um, if you're spending 10 keys to get the Ninja Assist Cultivation Pack, in terms of value, yeah, it's worth it. Um, not to mention, this is also a Fuku Romus deals. So if I'm getting anything out of this, um, then it's worth it. However, if I'm if I'm spending you know a little bit for this uh, event, but I don't reach the thousand mark, then it's kind of useless. The Fuku deals is kind of useless. Okay, but if this is going to be a part of your spending for Fuku deals, you don't even need to go through the formula. Just do it. Okay. All right. So I am going to buy ten keys, and I'm going to do this for every, each of my accounts. But I just need to tell you guys that I'll do that later on my own. Because I want to save some time. <clears throat> okay, so I mean, yeah, we got. It. So let's take a look at this. Uh, this ten draw here. Shift in. You guys see how uh, advanced protection I like, but then they have exp advanced experimental files. This is like getting zero coupons for me. Uh, another one here. It's kind of like getting zero coup zero coupons for me. And so in a way, the, drop, the draws are not that great. I would actually probably put them on tier two or three, somewhere in between. Um, but the rebate value was good. So in a way, I think this is probably at the same value as, uh, as a Fuku deals. You know, the rebate was really good, but the actual items I'm getting was 
in the middle. And so if you average that out, it'd be like slightly good, I guess. Uh, I don't want you know, when you're doing freebies, you don't want to spend too much time, too much of your time. You want to optimize it, but you want to be able to know uh, when not to calculate too much because it's a waste of time. I know you guys are watching this video when you're like, why are you making this video? It's a waste of time with talking so much. But yeah, this this kind of uh, thinking, this kind of uh, formula, if you keep on using it, you'll get used to it. You'll be able to use it right away. And then you'll be able to do that, do that for the rest of the your Naruto online career. <laughs> Um, if you can call it that. Okay, here's another example for this week, goldfish fishing. Uh, this is more of a stamina sort of thing. And, hmm, you see, this is actually kind of connected. So you guys see the time limited shop here um, and the goldfish fishing. Both of them, you get nets for spending stamina um, on instances. Uh, and you get the same thing with time limited shop. And so there's a little tricky thing here. Let's say you have, uh, actually I should probably spend so it's an easier example for you guys to see. Let's see. Mm, do I need Kakazu? Eh. I mean, I kind of need Kakazu. A uh, little calculator here needed. Still on display? Yes, I am, okay. You know, you could get ninjas too, but honestly speaking, it's I, I'm still yet to try to find a good one with Christmas Kushina. So you get to as well, Taka Squad. We'll have to see if there's any future ninjas that really go well with them. But anyways, these three are the items that I might try to get. Um, and 17 points, 20 points. Man, okay. 20, 20, if I get three of them, can I get three, three, 17 times three, 51 points? Okay, I don't have enough points. Um, okay, so this is a perfect example, right? No matter what I do, um, I can't finish all my points. And so maybe I should just get the best one. I could just get two refine packs and leave the seven points out and skip it. Or I can get the lowest item value and then try to sweep some more for stamina. So if I do stamina potions, right, I could do some stamina potions and if I sweep a little bit more, um, I might get limited points. Oh, I got paper nuts. But yeah, this is what I mean by connecting uh, goldfish fishing and time limited shop. You have a chance of getting points or this uh these nets and these nets give you points and that's all good right um, but it, I, I think the goldfish called fishing it's kind of useless to draw more it's not really an event that you want to go like you saw that it gave me four points with that one draw right how many how much stamina do I need to get to even get the next level reward For like a hundred points is like 20 draws right and stamina there's a there's only a chance of getting nets and so honestly you don't want to spend stamina for goldfish fishing alone goldfish fishing is really it sucks <laughs> um it's a freebie but it sucks and I'm, I'm only just going to collect this fragment and these 36 points are going to go to waste but how okay Tal uh time limited shop is a little bit different because the items the points that you get they're better but okay should i spend stamina on this that is the question. Now, explosive heart gift pack. If I do Kakazu, I need to get 54 points. Um, in which case, let's see, 54 points, 54 minus 47. I need seven more points if I'm going to get three explosive heart gift packs. Okay, so going by that formula that we saw earlier, we are spending... Uh, we are spending to get, let's see, I need to go back because, uh, I gotta reassure myself, my formula. Ooh, okay, here is the formula. Amount you saved over the amount you spend, unless it's a Fuku deals. Alright, so pretending we're not in Fuku deals. The amount you saved, um, so let's see, if I do 47 minus 18 minus 18, 
I'm saving 11 points because this is a freebie. Freebies are basically what you save. I'm saving 11 points and I'm going to spend for 7 points, right? So divided by 7. My rebate here is 157%. Now, you guys might say, wait a minute, you're not spending coupons. And that's exactly right. You're, stem you're spending something else. You're spending stamina potions. Okay. Stamina potions. So should you spend stamina potions for this or not? Well, here's the thing. Stamina potions. If you guys have not seen my Eno Flower event yet, um, you should go over there and check it out because that's how I got my Kakazu for free. Um, well, not free. I, I didn't get it for coupons. I simply got it from Eno Flower events uh, as a free to play, no money involved, and I got it using stamina potions. Now, there was a lot of stamina potions, but you know, uh, it's it's kind of worth it. If you just leave your stamina potions there, you collect it every day from wanted ninjas and all that stuff, it's pretty good. Um, but yeah, this is definitely not enough stamina potions. I already spent enough for one of those uh, Eno flower events, or sometimes it's called fle fresh flower events. Either way, but that is, that's basically what you're competing against. Um, so should you spend your stamina for this shop, or should you spend it for Eno flower event? And if you want to take a look at the value, um, you can go to the channel and type in Eno flower, uh, and you'll find the value, uh, how much stamina you need. If you think that's too much stamina for you to collect, go ahead and just spend it in this shop, all right? Um, or go ahead and spend your stamina, sweep your instance until you get enough for the time limited shop. Uh, there's also the case where you guys see the uh, monthly missions. I don't really do this because I wait for Eno flower events, but sometimes there are elite instances or plot instances for these 10 points or actually 20 points rewards and they also drop like random stuff like coins bond scrolls and whatever right and you can redeem epic refines or advanced refines charms seals i would do uh i would do epic refines though uh sometimes ninjas but they're no, they're usually not good actually i've never seen a good ninja in monthly event um anoki is okay but he's not he's not top tier so um, yeah, you, you know, these are, you can save your stamina up for events like this, right? Uh, elite instances, uh, so 10 stamina would be worth, what, 20 points? Uh, and that would be, how much, how many points do you need? So, you need three and a half, you need, uh, okay, you need 70 points for an epic refines, and to complete the missions, you need to go to 40, and you'll naturally go to 40 if you uh, get up early and s spend your stamina. Okay, so let's, let's pretend you get up to 40 with natural stamina plus your plus the home uh, hot spring thing, right? Would you want to spend an extra 10 or actually 100 stamina um, to get this next reward? And you can do it two times. So every day you can do this for seven days a week. Um, and only on certain weeks, but sometimes it's plot instances, sometimes it's elite instances. Is it worth it? 100 stamina for 20 points. That's basically what it is. And 20 points is, well, you need to do, you need to get 20 points three and a half times to get the epic refined runes. So in other words, three and a half, uh, times 100 stamina, cause that's what you need to get to, uh, the next reward. Three, three and a half times 100 stamina is 350 stamina. Doing it in my head is, it's, yeah, it's simple math, but gotta make sure it's right. Three, so you get, you need uh, 350 stamina for one epic refinery, basically. That's how much stamina is being used. But how about the time limited shop? If you spend, um, you gotta figure out how much points you get from spending stamina. And I don't have that information quite down, but I think it's one of the Eno Flower event uh, has one of the time limited shops. So type in time limited on in the channel and you'll see, I think the time limited points and you'll see how much stamina is spent and how much time limited points you get. But basically you want to compare those monthly event points to this, or you can wait for the Eno Flower event. 
I know it's complicated, alright? If you don't care, just spend stamina for the time limited shop. But if you care so much to the last point, then you should calculate it based on one, the monthly event. So it's 350 stamina for an epic refine room. Alright, think about it that way. Um, is it worth more than this shop? And in a way, I kind of think this 350 stamina give you. So you guys see the new refined optional pack here, right? There's two. And so 10 points is uh, one epic refine rune in this shop. So can you get 10 points with 350 stamina? Because in the monthly event, that's how much you need to get to the next level to get for the points uh, for epic refine rune. I just did the calculations for you. So this this is kind of what you want to you base it off on. Um, and I think the answer is probably yes. 10 points, you can probably get 10 points with 350 stamina. It's probably worth more to throw it in the time limited shop. Okay, but the uh, sometimes in the time limited shop, you don't exactly want, you, you don't exactly have what you want. Charm material packs aren't as good. Um, cave keys is also not as good. And sometimes maybe you already have Kakuzu or something and you don't like the ninjas here. Then you don't want to spend in the shop. So what you spend on matters. I hope this is clear. Um, if you're still confused, throw out, throw out a question because this is just... I try to make it as simple as possible, but I can understand why it might be confusing. All right, You want to make sure to always use this formula. I have to, I'm going back to this, this formula so that at least, if you don't understand the rest of the stuff, at least you're you know going for this formula and going like, okay, the, re the rebate value is good. <sighs> okay, so... Things get complicated when stamina is involved. Mission mobilization is coupon related. Time limited shop is stamina related. I just showed you the difference between those two. Um, and then there's ingots too, which is another whole other thing, man. Ingots. Let's talk about ingots. The best way to spend ingots is to go to the benefit hall and go for the platinum monthly card. Don't do the Johnny Metal. Platinum Monthly card. The Ingot Valley rebates, you want to think about it this way. How much are you willing to spend? How much are you willing to spend on this game? If you're only going to spend one time and not a lot, you want to do it in terms of Benefit Hall. You want to always spend Ingots on the Platinum Monthly card and on nothing else. Okay, because there's a 600% rebate on this. You get 600 coupons back. Um, when you buy this thing, so you spend 600 ingots and you get 600 coupons back and then you get 100 coupons back for the next 30 days Which is 3,000 coupons. So 3,600 coupons That is a I mean if we do the calculator thing again um, 3,000 wait, so it's how much you get divided by how much you spend 600% all right 600% rebate not exactly 600% because the amount you're spending is ingots even though they're they're kind of the same, they're not because ingots, you can get more coupons with ingots. But anyways, this is basically the best thing in the game that you can get if you spend. But okay, let's say you get the Platinum Monthly card every week and you spend even more. Then you go to the Jonin Medal, right? Uh, the Jonin Medal is... Where's the Jonin Medal? It's an option to get it somewhere. Oh, I guess you have to go click Activate. Alright, so the Jonin Medal here comes with a gift worth 1,888 ingots. That's complete BS. It's worth is almost zero. Not, ex not exactly zero, but it's worth almost zero. The benefits here is coupons, and you get 3,600 over 180 days. Um, you're spending 1,000... The Jonin Medal is 1,888. Uh, 3,600, you get 3,600 back, which is... a Well, let's do the calculations. Oops. Where is the calculator? I axed it out earlier, right? You're spending 1,808. Oh wait, I'm getting 3,600 because that's that's what it says here. More benefits, the coupons. I'm getting 3,600. You divided by the amount you spend, which is 1,888, which is a 190% rebate. Uh, kind of less because you're spending ingots, but you know, uh, we'll just say it's 190% for now. That's substantially less than uh, 
that's way less than the Platinum Monthly card, right? Even the Fuku deals is better. <laughs> now that I think, think about it, spending ingots on random events instead of the Jonin Medal might be better. But okay, you know, you also get a little bit stronger, but this amount of power is kind of useless at this point. Uh, 30 attack is nothing. Yeah, uh, more deals. Okay, so this is the other thing about Jodun Medals, is that you get more experience, and I hate that. In, you, more, you get more experience in the instance. I don't want to level up that much, and so I don't want the Jonin Medal at all, even if I have the ingots to do it. Uh, you get uh, Enhancer Attributes in Ninetales Invasion, which I don't do because of how much experience it gives, but if you're at level 102 or something like that, I guess it doesn't matter, and I guess it'll be fine. So you do, it's not a factor if you're at a really high level, but it is when you're at a lower level and you don't want to level up too much. Okay, you can increase the daily instance reset by 3, which is pointless because nobody does that. <laughs> um, you can buy stamina and nobody does that either. That's one of the worst ways to spend coupons or ingots. You get a free daily rank battle, which actually is helpful for monthly cards sometimes. Um, it's like a couple times a year maybe so you could you can count that as um extra points every day that's fine you know um and then increase character xp upper limit of stamina which would help you in terms of stamina so it would help you uh, not spend so much stamina uh on the monthly points the we just base members remember the missions here elite instances it's going to help you out on here and you don't have to spend stamina for this it also means that you're going to get enhanced uh rewards in time limited shop here because you have more stamina all the time um well not all the time if you're playing the game all the time then you your stamina will always be empty but yeah um most people most people are not like that so I'm going to assume uh, that it helps you out with stamina events, just in general. Uh, you get more coins, which I know people I know people don't look down on coins a little bit, but it's still helpful in 8 intergates, so it's a little bit of power. Uh, and then you have free makes up, free makeups in the 5 days. Anyways, it's still not worth the Platinum Monthly card, because this is a 600% rebate. With all those benefits, I'll throw it up to like a 230% rebate for the Jonin Medal, alright? So if you have enough to spend for the Platinum card and the Jonin Medal, um, and to always have it, then you can start thinking about other stuff. Uh, that's if you spend, of course. Uh, spenders kind of thing. Oh man. Okay, there's also, yeah, random, I, I mean, recharging ingots, just, you get a lot just from spending a little bit. Uh, in the beginning, but if you spend a lot, you get diminishing returns afterwards. <sighs> okay, uh, I kind of lost my point because I was talking for so long. Give me a second, I'm gonna get back to you in a few seconds. Hey guys, I'm back, and the point I was trying to make earlier was simply that ingots are worth more than coupons, and so you should treat them differently. Uh, and so, I mean, here's an example, right? The the mission mobilization here. Uh, let's say we have. I'm gonna do display view on this one, for, so you guys can see the calculator. All right. So let's say you have. We we had an example earlier of 52. I think we had 58 points earlier, right? But it's basically the same thing as 52 if you're trying to go from the charm material pack. So yeah, let's say 52. And you are uh, spending 10 to get 52. So you're spending 52, the amount that you get divided by the amount that you spend, which is 10 points. And so it's 520% rebate. Okay, but what if you need to spend ingots? What if you ran out of coupons and to get this rebate, you have to spend uh, enough ingots for this 10 points? Well, then you got to compare this first. You got to compare this to the Platinum Monthly card. And remember that the Platinum Monthly card is 600% rebate. And so, if you're not getting a Platinum Monthly card every single month, then even this 520% rebate thing, you should just not do it. Um, because it's better to save it for the Platinum Monthly card. 600%. Now, if you do get the Platinum Monthly card every month, and, you know, you recharge more than 600 ingots every month, then, okay, then we start going into Jonin Metal, because, you know, 
now that now that you're getting the maximum amount for this uh, thing, this benefit hall thing, then uh, the rebate after that is not 600%. It's the Jonin Metal, which is I think I priced it at 230%. So um, it's 520% better than 230%. Yes. So yeah, in that case, I would spend if I if I had 52 points in the Mission Mobilization Shop here. Right, for the Charm Material back thing. And so yeah, 52 divided by 10. Okay, let's do this example again. 42, uh, let's say we have 42 points. We need 20 points to get that Charm Material packs, right? And so the equation is gonna be the amount that you get, which is 42 points, divided by the amount that you spend, which is 20 points. So this the value here is 210% if it was in coupons. But let's say that you don't have coupons, right? Let's say you have ingots and you you have to spend ingots to get this freebie thing. Well, it's no longer 210%. Actually, it's actually much less because you're spending ingots, right? I'll probably put it at like 30% less. It's probably a little more or less, but the rebate value you go down is uh, 147%. But yeah, let's, let's, let's even skip that. Let's pretend, let's go back to 210%. Let's forget that they're even ingots, right? 210%, 2.1. Is, now, if you're spending ingots, you could spend those ingots for a Jonin Metal, right? Jonin Metal is 1,888, and the value for a Jonin Metal is about 200%. Uh, or actually, 230%, I valued it earlier, so 2.3. 230 percent so even if you're spending ingots for uh this point shop it's no longer worth it even at 210 percent it's better than the fuku deals sure but the thing that you're spending is ingots it's worth more than coupons and so if you do have the month platinum monthly card every month and you have ingots left over you, be, you should be saving that for the jonin metal on this you can spend, uh, unless you're spending for this event, which, uh, that doesn't make any sense. Hold on. Okay. The Jonin Metal, um, the first thing we want to compare is the Planet Monthly card. If you have the monthly Planet Monthly card every month, then you want to see if you have the Jonin Metal. Um, if you have the Jonin Metal, then you can, you can think of, uh, rebates as the same thing as what I showed you before. The, the, uh, the, the formula. But if you don't have the Jonin Metal, let's say you have you get 600 ingots every month for the Platinum Monthly card, and you also get another 300. You're also recharging another 300 every month. I would not spend ingots to get uh, this free item if you only had 42 points because the rebate value is only 210%. Um, actually, even less because it's ingots. So this the reason is because the Jonin Metal provides a rebate of 230%. And so, you know, if this is 210% and the rebate value for a Jonin Metal, saving up for a Jonin Metal is 230%, you obviously want the higher number, the 230%. But okay, if you get both the Jonin Metal and the Platinum Monthly card, then then it's okay. Then you don't have to think about that stuff. Um, then you can just go, okay, uh, 42, I get 42. I get, I get 42 points, We're pretending we get 42 points here, and divided by um, the amount that you need to spend, which is 20, because this costs 262. So 210% is my rebate. Is it worth the same as the Fugu deals? The answer is yes. However, you always want to you always want to put it at like maybe 70% because um, so you you want to so put it to 0.7. You multiply by 0.7 for 70%. You get 147% as your final rebate. The reason I'm, I'm putting this is because ingots are always better than coupons. And when you spend them, when you get a rebate from them, it's always worth more. You know, um, just in general, that's my general rule. I could be wrong. Could be a little more, could be a little less. But still, spending, there's, there's better ways to spend ingots. Kind of like how you saw in the uh, Konoha special sale here. Um, in the colored banner, they were selling training potions for nine each, but, uh, you get a 50, 50 coupons off or you get 50, 50 ingots off basically, um, in the shop. And so the shops are better for ingots. 
Okay, uh, this video has gone on way too long. I hope this makes sense. I was going to put in actually another week of uh, spending examples, but I think this is enough. Throw some questions down. I hope this worked. I hope it was clear. If it's not, message, I don't know, just write a comment down below and ask questions. Um, go ahead and put timestamps below and I'll explain what I'm talking about in words. Uh, maybe I'll pin a comment uh, with an explanation of what I was trying to say. <sighs> Man, this, this took a while. This took. I started this weeks, actually maybe even a month ago. Uh, and just to think it through took a, quite a while. But anyways, guys, make sure that, I mean, I don't want you to spend too much time worrying about freebies, but you do want to make sure that you do get that formula down. That's the one thing I want you guys to remember, uh, the formula. Amount you saved over the amount you spend is the rebate value. And make sure that the, the thing you're spending for is worth spending for. Like, you don't, you don't want to buy poop, right? Even if you have a 900% rebate, you don't, you don't want to buy poop. So yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll see you guys in the next video. Ooh.